Giselle's Reflections, Boulevard Cameras. So here's the infamous glass negatives. See, it's a wow. piece of... Wow. That's amazing. Eighth inch plate, something like that. Wow. So from which year was this? This is in the... This was probably shot in the 20s, but these negatives probably stopped being popular in the late 20s when they came up with plastic and they could put film they could put the emulsion on celluloid. So glass was always the big thing before that, like in the 1800s. And then it kind of went out of, it went out of style in the 20s. Is that similar to a daguerreotype? No, those are, well it is. Those were basically on metal. And those were prints on metal, but this is the actual negative that they'd slide into their five by seven cameras. They had wow. plates that they had to so slide the this emulsion on. Tell me the story. So how did you find the negative? Somebody well, just left them? These negatives were, a lot of these glass negatives were from Ed, who is the partner I bought out in 84, and he lived in Santa Monica all his life, and he was related to the Marquezes and the Carrillo, uh, mm -hmm. Leo Carrillo. His family was from there, from that group of people. And he had a lot of these, and he knew I always liked them, and we always did, did window displays and stuff, and he never really cared too much about them. He just kind of gathered them over the years. And then, when, after he retired years later, he ended up, he brought back the negatives and gave them to me, the ones that he had. And we also found additional ones when we were going through our old stuff, getting ready to remodel. Up in the rafters, we found a lot of old negatives. Some were glass, and some were actual, just four by five, regular negatives. Like the Malibu uh, 1947 that's up on the wall over there. That's from a negative, that's in the 47, so that wasn't a glass negative or anything, but... But it's still an amazing print. Yeah, it's from 19, it's a 1947 promo thing for the Malibu area. Ooh, Trying to sell Malibu land. And then we had the Canyon shop, which was not, and then we had, um, we found another one. Let's see if I can find it. Come here to pick up it's, the picture. Um, What's last? What's um, that one we MCK had? Uh, those guys serving up. Look like that. Some might have panoramic. Let me see. I thought it was over there. I'm sorry. How do you spell your last name? M C K E A R N E Y. And some might have panoramic. This is not it, but this is one of the negatives that was in there too. It wasn't the last negative. It was the train. Oh. This is a print from there. Wow. McClure Tunnel. McClure Tunnel, which is right by the pier, right? Yeah. So that's... And I think it was a small... It wasn't a smaller gauge train. It wasn't a full size... Yeah, because it was narrow only... Narrow gauge. The only thing the train was doing was taking stuff out to Long Wharf. Mm -hmm. There was another pier out there that's right around... Um, like I want to say, co it's not Coastline, I think it's... No, it's, what's, where's that restaurant? Um, it's not Temescale. Oh, the right Chart House? Chart House, yeah. Where the long work was. Here is another negative we found, which we don't know if it's in the store or not, but it appears to be our store in the 20s or 30s. Oh, wow. In that corner right there. Unbelievable. But that's wild, so... So when did Boulevard Cameras start? When did they open? 1946. 1946? Uncle Bud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. My boyfriend's uncle owned this place. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I <laughs> still coming. <laughs> loyal customer. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of loyal customers you here. You don't have his black and white picture up anymore. Oh, Bud? Yeah. Well, I remember it was up there. He's hilarious. It was, oh, I think it's over there. Family gathering. Oh, were you talking about the really old one? Where yeah. he looks the just black like hair. his son now? Yeah. It's scary. The black it's hair. over there somewhere. Now his hair is white. But every time we have a family gathering, he is so funny with his dirty jokes. 
Wow, that's fantastic. So altogether, how many negatives did you find? Well, originally we had, we probably found 20 in the rafters, but we originally have, I think there's about 40. 40 negatives. Um, we lost some in the 80s. A, 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 local, a local historical group borrowed some in the 80s and we didn't get a lot back. But Ed didn't care, Ed never cared. Ed couldn't, you know, he didn't really care. He was kind of like, oh well, no mm -hmm. big deal. Um, but the store's been here since 46, and Herb Goldsworthy was the original owner. And he sold it to my partner's dad. He sold it to my partner's dad in 61, mm -hmm. after the missile crisis, because he was afraid that the Cuban missile crisis, he was afraid that the Russians were going to nuke Santa Monica. Oh, so he, gosh. I swear, he's, he did. He says, I'm moving <laughs> to the desert. So he, he packed up and moved and sold the store to, Ed, to Bud, and Bud, and eventually then said, I need to, you know, his best friend, Ed, mm -hmm. said, come on, we'll run the store. So they, you know, I bought Ed out in 84. In 84. Yeah. Yeah. And they, uh, so we still sell the customers that, that they dealt with in the 60s. We, they come in with their old Hasselblads that they bought in 1962. Wow. Tell us, oh, I want to sell them now. My husband died or my wife died mm -hmm. and has all this equipment. Well, this is a really historical place, I would say. Every yeah. time I come here, I see people yeah, that have scary. been here for at least 30 years. I've seen, yeah, and I've been here since 84. I've seen, I was at 23 years, so I've seen people that came in here with before they had kids, and now their kids are, like, coming in here. It's uh -huh. kind of scary. <laughs> Makes you feel young or old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> old. It's terrible. It's an awful feeling. No, but it's great that you still, you know, have yeah. those customers. Yeah, I mean, I think I, that's what makes it. Yeah. I'd be happy just die in here and they can bury me in the back. <laughs> and I'll be and I'll join that haunted guy, you know, the oh, the old manager. I wish I had his picture of that guy. So wait, so the old manager? That's the guy who we think is the ghost. The guy oh. died out front. It was out front. Yeah. Yeah. And he died out front and what happened? Uh, well no, he he was out front and we somebody took a picture of him. Uh-huh. And then 3 days later he died in Malibu on a in a diving accident. And he was in the book. We think he's the ghost. He's the one that causes all the all the little all the weird all the that weirdness that happens. The scary stuff. That, hey, how's it going? Are you being videoed for the documentary? Yes, they're doing it. About this amazing place. <laughs> it's haunted. 